People keep dropping me notes asking me what's going to happen next after COVID. I don't know the answer, so I asked some of my guests. Here's their predictions. I don't know if that's a, predi a crazy prediction or not, but there was a guy on the Nine Others call the other day who was looking for talent. And it was like, man, you've got an amazing opportunity to work with people, you know, anywhere in the world. And that just, you know, this whole COVID thing, it either makes things happen that would have never happened or it just accelerates things dramatically. Um, so like things, accelerating things are like online courses being, being put online, Cambridge University going online. You know, maybe that would have happened in the next 50 years. They've probably been talking about it for the last 15 years, but that's just, that's just happened in a few weeks. So things like that are massively accelerated, which is quite exciting. And so let me give you the kind of economic position as I see it. So this is the largest contraction in 300 years um, of the economy. Uh, the most, you know, the, and last time it was the South Sea bubble that were collapsing that caused the, the uh, economy to contract as much as this. So it's 1709 was the last time that the economy in the UK has contracted this much. Um, there's a wave of unemployment that has engulfed the US. Um, there's 36 million people have applied for unemployment in the US. Um, full, full employment in the US is 165 million. So you're already over 20% there and you'll be approaching 25%. Just for some context on that, in the last 50 years, unemployment has never been above 11%. So in, in effectively a lifetime, we've now got to a, you know, a stage where we're seeing unemployment levels twice the maximum we've seen in the last 50 years. So yes, a lot of, you know, the reason I'm using the US as, as, the, as the benchmark here is the Europe, you're seeing a lot of um, government intervention, furloughing, things like that, which kinds of figures in the US is much more clear. Um, what that then means, uh, you know, post is there will be a bit of a bounce back. So some of those jobs will come back, but I, I think you're going to stabilize probably somewhere between 15 and 20% unemployment, which is just truly awful.